Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome to my first video of 2020, or the, well, I guess technically it's a live stream, uh, you can call it whatever you want, uh, it's the first Sam Strains thing of 2021, did I say 2020 then, or a mistake, five seconds in, perfect, sounds good, that's probably how the year's going to end up. Anyway, the thing that is the subject of today's stream video, whatever we're calling it, has been super amazing, exciting. What a morning this has been. Um, I can't wait to share this with you. Before I do though, let's start by just wishing you guys such a happy new year. I know Christmas and new year wasn't what we wanted them to be, but I hope you at least were able to enjoy some good rest and some good food, hopefully. But 2020, we'll throw that back over there. We won't talk anymore about 2020 because it was a disaster. 2021, I'm going to say, even though the news suggests otherwise, is going to be a much, much better year. And it's certainly starting out quite well, at least in the world of model railways, because Hornby have announced their 2021 range, and there are some amazing, amazing models coming up. Now, Hornby's website has been broken all morning, so I've struggled to get on there. Uh, some of the pictures I'm going to be showing you, the image quality might not be fantastic. Fantastic, and there might be one or two models that I've missed out. So, if there is anything missing, uh, do let me know in the comments. But I will obviously cover everything we're looking at today in more detail as we go on. I'll also be adding affiliate links afterwards down in the description. So, if you want to order any of this stuff, I will be providing you with that. First off, though, before we get started, how is everybody doing? What does everybody, I mean, I guess I'll ask you what you think about Hornby's new range um, once we get started. But I just want to see you guys. Uh, it's only been a week since I've made a video, but I've missed you. I really have. So there you go. Hopefully you guys can see yourselves up on the screen there. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do this then, because this is annoying me just sitting here talking, isn't it? So let's talk about what Hornby have announced in their 2021 range. And I heard a noise, but, uh, oh, it's Kelly. Oh, thank you very much, Kelly. Uh, so yeah, they've announced a lot of new stuff, some of it has returned to the range, some of it is all new, so let's jump in with locomotives. So the first locomotive is this, now you might think, oh, this isn't new to the range. Well, it kind of is, it's a Hornby Dublo BR Merchant Navy class, and they're doing this model in BR Green and Southern Green, and the price is going to be £264.99. Now, you're probably asking, why? Well, this is actually an addition to the Hornby Dublo range that was started last year with the du uh, Duchess of Athol, that was the one, and these locos are actually going to be die-cast. Yes, they're going to be made of metal. And when you see that thing and you think metal, then wow, that is something quite impressive, isn't it? So, yep, that is going to add to the Hornby Dublo range. They say they never actually made one of these Hornby Dublo rendered, uh, so Hornby are doing what uh, Hornby Dublo never actually did. The website does say that these are going to have three pole motors, which is a little bit confusing. Um, I don't know if the other merchant navies do, the uh, rebuilt ones certainly don't. This one does for whatever reason, unless the website is wrong, but obviously I wouldn't expect it to be. But yeah, that's very, very exciting. The Hornby Dublo range last year really did sell well, didn't it? It was very popular. The Duchess of Athol Loco sold out really quickly. So, you know, hopefully this will be popular as well. However, this year we have more than just one addition to that range, or at least in the diecast range. There's another one. There is this, and I think there are quite a few actually. Um, Oh, hang on, is this, no, this is not, this is not part of the double range, I don't think. No, this is just part of the standard range. Uh, the reason I got it confused, though, is because this is also another model that has never been seen as it's going to be released this year. So in the past, I mean, let me show you what these models used to be like. Here's one of mine. This is just a, a standard, I think it's an A1, A3, whatever it is. Um, plastic locomotive, plastic running plate, reasonably old. I think 2007 is when these were released. But the new version from Hornby is not... <laughs> it's not like that. Now, it's not a new tool. Um, it's a bit confusing because on Hornby's website, they haven't actually written specifically whether this is a new tool or whether it's not. Um, as I understand it, and I will stress that, but this is not a new tooled locomotive. It's just an upgraded locomotive. And apparently, these actually have die-cast running plates. Thank you very much, Di Daniel, for that. Yeah, they have die-cast running plates. And there's going to be four of these. You can see the BR green one here, but there are four new upgraded A3s. And they're also going to have flickering firebox as well. Now that die cast running plate is going to add so much weight and quality to the model to the point where I would say the new RRP of £209.99 sounds absolutely justified. I don't know if Hornby's latest Pacifics and their Hush Hush Locos, I don't know if they're going to have die cast running plates. The fact that these do for 210 quid RRP, I mean the retailers are probably going to be selling them for less, 
that's reasonably good, isn't it, I think. Okay, so we've seen some models that are already in Hornby's range, sort of. The next one is not. Look at this. Now, this is a new Ruston. Yes, that's true, and we have seen Rustons before, but this is not the same as the Ruston that was being released over the last couple of years. This is an all-new 40... Sorry, no, that's the old one. It's an 88DS. It's also an 040 locomotive. As you can see, though, it is quite a lot larger than the previous Ruston that Hornby released. It may or may not use the same chassis. I'm not sure. But there are a couple of these. There's another one, slightly better quality photo. These are looking really, really impressive, don't they? They really have piqued my interest. There's four versions of these. I'm just showing you two. Let's flick back to the other one. I think that's my favourite of the liveries I've seen. That's why I put that in. And these are going to be priced, again, they're, they're less than £100, like the other Rustons. <laughs> Crazy stuff. £93.99 is the price. I'm not sure whether these are going to be coming with those wagons to help with the pickups or not. I mean, it's still a short wheelbase uh, 040 locomotive, so maybe that's needed. But, yeah, I mean, the pictures definitely aren't showing anything like that, are they? So I guess not, maybe. But we'll see. I suppose it's still early days. Next up, there's another exciting new release. Again, it's not clear whether this one is a new tool or not. I don't believe it is, but I could be wrong. This is, of course, the Clan Class, and this is not the first time it's been in Hornby's range. It actually has. It just, I don't think they made very many, and it disappeared very quickly, and they became super rare. And if one appears on eBay, it's gone the next day for ridiculous amounts of money. So, for all intents and purposes, this could be your first chance of getting a Hornby Clan class. Now, I do remember something about this model not being ultra accurate or anything like that, but it didn't seem to matter. It sold well nonetheless. As I say then, it doesn't appear to be a new tooling. It could well be, but like I say, if it turns out that this is a new, an all-new model or something like that, obviously I will cover that fact later on. It is reasonably priced, I would say, though. It's £179.99 RRP, so we're talking, what, 150 160 quid to buy from the retailers, hopefully. Yeah, that's not too bad, is it? I'm not sure then whether that price suggests that this is an all-new model. I don't think it is, but I could be wrong. The next model, though, is all new. This is very, very exciting. I didn't see this one coming because it's a bit confusing, but as I understand it, this one is all new tool. It's not upgraded. It's not sort of derived from other models that Hornby have. It is brand new, but it has been in Hornby's range before, which is strange. It's this. It's a P2. It is a P2. Now, why is that confusing? I hear you scream. In fact, no, I don't think you're that mad, are you? You're probably not screaming, but you're probably wondering. Well, because Hornby have a P2 in their range. I mean, they made this one, I think it was less than 10 years ago, probably much less than 10 years ago. This was tooled up. Uh, I wish I had the date, actually. It's been a bit of a flap this morning to get this stream ready. But yeah, it's recent, it's recent, but they didn't do a very good job, as you remember. It's all plastic, it's got no cab detail, no sprung buffers. The level of detail is really, really basic. It wasn't in the railroad range, it was released into the main range, but it wasn't all that impressive, and that is something that always disappointed me. Well, I guess my disappointment is going to end entirely this year, because, yeah, there is a brand new P2 coming out. And they've done this because I think it's Prince of Wales, is it? That loco is due to be completed in real life, that is, this year, and they're obviously releasing these P2 in order to coincide with that. So it's a new tooling from scratch. It doesn't use anything that the previous model used, as I understand it. They're going to be doing the Prince of Wales and the Earl of Marischal, I think it is. Let me show you one of the other pictures. Oh, that's one of the other ones they're doing. We'll talk about that in just a second. Um, but these ones, yeah, they're going to have five pole motors and they're going to cost £209.99. So again, that is about the Pacific price at the moment, isn't it? Not too bad, I don't think. Not too bad. Obviously, a bit expensive, but it seems reasonable for such a large locomotive. And yes, I just gave it away. But this is the version that everybody, well, not necessarily everybody, but that so many people wanted to see when Hornby released the last lot of P2s. That is the streamlined P2, the one that looks like an A4. I saw one of these once at a model railway show. I think someone had just kitbashed it or something. And I thought, what on earth is that? It's an A4 with eight driving wheels. And it just completely blew my mind. Well, maybe I'll be able to have that happen on my layout, on my layout here one day this year. Or oh, I don't know when it's due for release. It might, might be next year, knowing Hornby. But that is pretty fantastic, isn't it? So let's just have one last look at that core, blimey. It does, I mean, those two chaps are standing in front of the front driving wheels. But if they weren't there, that would be mind-blowing, wouldn't it? Because it looks like an E4 with eight huge driving wheels. So yeah, that is very, very exciting indeed. Shall we leave that on? Shall we leave that on the screen for 10 minutes just so you can take it in? No, I won't do that. I think that one's Lord President anyway, and it's the same price as the previous one. But the new tooled locomotives do not end there because we have yet another new addition to the Hornby range. Uh, this 
Next one though wasn't retooled five years ago or something silly like that. It's actually been more like 50 years since this, <laughs> since this loco was last retooled. It is of course the BR Standard Class 9F. And the last time Hornby introduced a new version of this locomotive into the range literally was about 50 years ago. It was the Triang version. And this model here is much more recent than the Triang version, but it was derived from it until literally last year. Hornby have been using that 50 year old tooling to produce all of their 9F models. Um, they've just been through lots of developments and changes, they're now loco drive, etc. Well, forget all of that. These, as of this year, are going to be obsolete. Well, that sounds horrible, actually, doesn't it? No. Not obsolete, no, I didn't say that, I didn't mean that. Just um, sort of bested by a better model. So yeah, this version, again, is all new tooled as I understand it. Brand new, not using any of the old um, assets or anything like that. As I understand it, we'll have to confirm all of this. There's three different versions going to be produced, including Evening Star, which I assume will be in the BR lined green. All new tool, £209.99 again. That's the same price as, as the Pacifics. Now, yes, it is expensive, but don't forget we've seen some other locomotives, much, much smaller locomotives recently announced that are much more expensive than that. So while it is quite a lot of money and it's certainly a lot more than the old Railroad 9Fs cost, it doesn't seem terrible to say that this is a very large locomotive. Let's lift it up again. Very, very large and available for probably realistically less than 200 pounds. It makes me a bit sad because now, I mean, this was the best 9F I ever owned up until this point, but if I'm lucky enough to secure one of the new Hornby ones, then that won't be the case anymore. And uh, I've got about three or four of these old Hornby 9Fs, which means uh, they're going to look a bit sad in comparison, aren't they? But you know what, Never mind. that's what it is. Next up, this is not a new tooled um, piece, but it's in my new locos for some reason. In fact, it. It, this livery almost makes it look like it is brand new or something like that, but it isn't. It's just the regular sort of HSTs that Hornby have produced in the past. But of course, they are in the Midland Pullman livery, which transforms them. It really does. I really had to look closely at this to figure out what I was seeing. My brain was not accepting it. But yeah, it is a brand new, I believe it's a train pack again. Hornby's website has not been working properly, so I haven't been able to get the details I would have liked to have gotten on these. I believe it's going to be a train pack. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can just buy them as a pair like this. I do know that the all of the relevant Midland Pullman coaches, the whole suite of them, are going to be available separately, but whether or not you can buy them in a pack, I'm not too sure. And we'll come on to those uh, that big suite of of coaches later on but that's a really really nice thing to see isn't it the midland pullman livery is absolutely beautiful and uh, something that i've already always been interested in because of course it dates back quite a long way doesn't it um the, the trying in, in fact yeah in model form the trying midland pullman has been around for a long long time i wish i knew the date now but i don't right there's some new additions to the hornby railroad range and i hate to admit this i hate it but some of these have actually gotten me more excited than some of the new releases, which is silly, but maybe you'll understand where I'm coming from. Right, look at this. Are you ready? Boom. What? What? We haven't seen this in years. So, yeah, in case you're not sure what you're seeing here, this is a Hornby E2 in the SECR green livery. I didn't even know Hornby had the E2 anymore. I mean, the last time we saw it was as Thomas, of course. But the last time we saw it as an actual proper locomotive was back in the like the 80s or 90s. Now here's mine, it's got the silly, Tom well it's not silly, it's a nice Thomas face on it. But yeah, it was in the L LBSC Umber in the past and you know this is a long, long time ago that this one was made. Uh, and like I say, I think it was the 80s. No, they've actually managed to turn it back into, uh, hang on, where's the picture? They've actually managed to turn it back into a regular steam locomotive. I believe this will have a regular smoke box door again. And not only that, it's in the beautiful SECR green, which I think is marvellous. And these are available for £54.99 RRP, and even less if you go to the retailers, presumably, presumably. That is wonderful. I did not see that coming. And it doesn't end there, folks. It does not end there, because there's this. Now, who is that? Who does that look like? To me, that has got to be a sort of rehash of old Percy, hasn't it? Hang on, let me get the angle right. Ready? Yeah, no doubt about it, is there? <laughs> yeah, it's Percy. I'm pretty sure it is Percy. Percy is back in Hornby's range. Of course, it ain't Percy. It's a sort of lined blue locomotive. I think it's T Brown. That's the that's the name of this particular version, and it's going to cost forty one pounds ninety nine. Once again, in the railroad range, probably available for less from the retailers. 
Now, yeah, I'm silly. I'm silly for getting so excited about that, but that really did blow my mind. And there's quite a lot more to go in Hornby's Railroad range as well. I believe there's an A1 Tornado in the Railroad Plus range, which means it's got a really nice livery. If, there, if you're interested in those, do let me know down in the comments and I might cover those in a future video. But yes, there are quite a lot of new additions to the Hornby Railroad range. However, even more interestingly, there are some new locos that are sort of new, sort of returning from previous ranges. The first of which is the return of the Sentinel, and I thought this one was worth showing because it's been partially retooled to depict a slightly different version. So this is the Hitachi version on screen, which is going to be priced at £83.99, although there is at least one other version that they're coming out with this year, which I believe is in a blue. And you can just see if I show you the old, well, not old, it's not that old, but the previous Ruston design. Ruston? No, no, not Ruston. Sentinel, I should have said. You can see that, yeah, there are differences if you look. And I suppose if I'm able to get one of each, I might be able to go over what some of those differences are. Here we are, turn it around the other way, and we'll be able to look at them more closely. But yeah, it's great. We're seeing this quite a lot, actually. Hornby going back and servicing their old locomotives, their old toolings, so that they can keep using them and making them, presumably, even better. Well, it's certainly better in the case of the Pacifics. So that is something really, really good to see. We've also got the return of the Hush Hush. Well, I say return, they're not out yet, are they? But there's even more versions of the Hush Hush announced. So this is actually a non-prototypical version. This is a grey, uh, based, I believe, on the old black and white photos that you see. Basically, if you Google LNER Hush Hush, you will see black and white photos. And that model is based on those. Uh, never appeared in grey, I don't think, in real life. But obviously, Hornby think this is something that's going to sell. And looking at that, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. It actually looks really, really good, doesn't it? And I, I wonder, I suppose Hornby have had to say that this isn't prototypical because they'd get jumped on. But if they hadn't have said that, I do wonder how many people would have actually, you know, put their hand up and said, no, this isn't correct. I don't think I would have done, but then again, I'm not an expert, am I? And there's also got, there, yeah, there's a BR Green streamlined version with the balancers cut out as well. And you guessed it, yep, the price is £209.99 for those as well. And they're also now doing double chimney versions. I believe the previous ones announced just had the single chimneys. So that's really, really interesting. Next up then, we have this. We The Pendolino is in the range yet again. And I'm showing this. Um, and I'm not going to be showing a lot of other things like it, but basically last year, as you remember, Hornby released the Beatles Eurostar train set with that fantastic wrap all the way around the coaches and the power units. Incredible decoration, all that detail. Let me show you it and look at that. And so, yeah, they're doing much more of that this year. There are several different packs and locomotives and coaches and things that have this sort of vinyl wrap going around them. But this is probably one of the most interesting ones. So this is the Avanti West Coast 390 Pendolino in the Pride livery. It's a five-car set, and it's going to be available for £261.99. And again, I mean, I did a review of the Beatles Eurostar set it really did look fantastic. So hopefully Hornby will be able to deliver that quality again with the uh, the Pride Pendolino and everything else they do as well. And they're doing other sort of branded products as well this year, quite a lot. In fact, uh, one of the interesting ones is this. Yep, Coca-Cola is coming back into the range with the 040 tank engine. I think this must be railroad, is it? I think it is, yes. And it's going to be £36.99. That's so quite expensive, really, for a little 040, but I suppose the um, the Coca-Cola people will want some of their money out of that. And also, also, coming back into the range, we have the BR Black Terrier, which quite obviously looks like it's ex-Southern, doesn't it, based on that livery. Uh, but yeah, there are quite a few new Terriers in the range this year, so if that's something that particularly interests you, do check that out. And I do have uh, another Terrier sort of, I think it's a train pack, yeah, not a set, it's a train pack uh, to talk about later on, so I'll show you that. Right, well, that is my coverage of the locomotives. There are a few other minor ones that I might talk about in the news or something like that, but what do you think? Are you pleased? Are you excited by any of these announcements? Are there any in particular that you're looking to buy? Are there any that you'd wished for that have not been announced? I was hoping for a Lion, because Hornby have already got the um, Liverpool and Manchester coaches, um, but, you know, I I reckon that's going to be coming next year, next year. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Anyway, right, folks, what did you think about that? Any particular highlights for you? Terriers, says Nat the Austerity. Uh, in fact, a lot of people are shouting about the Terriers. Uh, yeah, they have that effect, don't they? Definitely. Indie Fox said Terrier as well. Uh, I saw one for the Ruston somewhere. Overpriced, says Reese Paul 125. Well, they are expensive, that is true, but they're not as bad as some, are they? 
Uh, oh, I want to get some of those Beatles wagons, says Arbiter of MT Ringo. Ah, hold your horses. I'll be talking about those very shortly. Uh, F Mr. 6666 was hoping for a warship. Ah, we, well, there's quite a lot of warships on the market already. Not that that stops Hornby. You'll see what I mean by that later on. Uh, Lee 9F says, Owen, yeah, that is very exciting, isn't it? On all new. I didn't see that coming because I would have thought, you know, I, I, I don't know about this thing about it being on the front of Hornby's catalogue, but I just thought they wouldn't be selling the old 9F, would they? A year before they were about to retool it. So I just assumed they wouldn't be doing that. But obviously they have, they have. It was unexpected. Uh, strange that they didn't decide to bring out something new instead, but uh, I, th I think a new 9F will do really, really well, won't it? Uh, Arbiter wants the HST and the Pride train, also Beatles, yeah, yeah, they all look really good. Uh, 9F says Dom, yeah, a lot of people like those 9Fs. Uh, wow, you guys are fast today. No Big Bertha, she says Shining Time 4. That was one of my predictions from the thumbnail, No Big Bertha, that is true. Um, but yeah, there are some great uh, great things there. I particularly like those little Rustons. If you can get one in the nicer liveries, well, they're all nice, but that, that one I did show, mm, that one's going to be really, really nice. Right, I'm going to turn over my piece of paper then, and we're going to talk about rolling stock and coaches and such. The first one is a little bit of a strange one because Hornby have announced a brand new suite of four and six wheel coaches. Let's show these. Now that's confusing because I would have said Hatton's already had us perfectly covered on these. They have a large range coming out pretty soon. Um, yeah, Hornby seem to have a bit of a habit of doing this, don't they? Just taking what other people have uh, already announced or even released and making their own version, which is all well and good. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, there's some competition there. Maybe Hornby will do a better job. Maybe they won't. That is yet to be seen. But I think most of us would have preferred that Hornby would have brought something new into the world rather than duplicating what we've already got. But it is what it is, I suppose. Let's talk about these anyway rather than have a rant about them because uh, they are looking pretty nice, I would say. So as I say, there are four and six wheeled versions going to come out. I've got a better quality picture there. Yeah, there's the Southern version. So the six wheelers are going to have Southern Railway, uh, LNWR versions. There's a BR version, uh, NBR and LNER. So I think there might be more as well, but uh, that's just a selection. And then there's some four wheeled ones as well. That's the Great Western one, I believe there. Looks very, very lovely, doesn't it? That And there's, a, again, another slightly better quality one. That's a, an LNER Teak version. And the four wheel versions are going to be Great Western, LSWR, um, sorry, Great Northern, LSWR, Great Western, LBSC. There we go. And these are going to cost £29.99 RRP, although I think they might, I, I did see a £35.99 uh, price tag as well. So exactly what this cost is anyone's guess at the moment, but hopefully once Hornby's website is back up and running again, I'll be able to check. There's also going to be an option for lighting on these, but they work quite a bit different to lights on other um, coaches that we've seen in the past. So we'll talk about that in just a second. Now, as I've already mentioned, Hornby are also going to be doing some of those Mark III coaches. I think they're Mark III's, yep, for the Midland Pullman. The one on screen here is the Trailer Buffet, I believe it is, but they've got all sorts of others. I mean, the, the full set, I'm pretty sure, uh, including the Guard Standard. These are going to cost £36.99 each, and they do look the job, don't they? They look very, very smart. Okay, there's something pretty exciting, folks, because Stevenson's Rocket is making a return this year. And not just Rocket, but all kinds of new rolling stock for the Rocket as well. Yes, I said new. There are some new items of rolling stock for the Rocket which are coming out. First of all, let's talk about what we've seen already. So these are the London and... No, London. Liverpool. I see L and M and I just think London and Midland. London and Midland. No, I've got to detrain myself from saying that. Liverpool and Manchester Railway open carriages. This is a pack. This appears to be a pack of three. Uh, costs £69.99 RRP, which is about £23 each. That's more or less what I paid for mine on its own, isn't it? So that's pretty decent. And then... There are these. Now, Hornby have kept perfectly quiet about these, never saw these coming. I assume, they would, I assume they've only uh, released the open carriages uh, because of rails and all of that business. They wanted to get those out sooner. Uh, little did we know that they also had some of these open, uh, sorry, flat top. Well, I guess they are open too. But yeah, they're flat top wagons. Again, this is the same price, £69.99 for the pack of three. I'd love to know what these were for. It's got to be goods, hasn't it? I mean, I know those open carriages were dangerous and I wouldn't want to safely ride on one. But they can't ask people to balance on top of one of those, I would hope. You never know. The Victorians were... Weirdos, weren't they? And they certainly weren't very safety conscious. But uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I guess we'll find out more about those. And Mark IVs. 
<laughs> that's all I'll say. Uh, it's kind of inevitable, I suppose, wasn't it? Because of the Class 91 last year. And I believe these are going to be priced at uh, £34.99. And there's all sorts of different variants of these. Um, I assume there are no pictures or CADs or anything like that to see at the moment. Because this appears to be the photo that Hornby are using on their website. Although, as I say, their website, has, it's been a miracle, actually, that I was able to get on at all. Because it was literally broken all morning. But that's one of the only pictures I was able to see. Maybe if there are more on there, I will find them when things die down. But yeah, at the moment, that's as far as I'm aware. That's, just, that's, yeah, that's, that's all we've got. Let's put it that way. Okay, this is a photo of a model, though. This is a Mansell Dining slash Saloon slash Kitchen Coach. £49.99. They're also doing a third-class dining saloon as well, I think. I believe these are new tooled as well. I believe the Mark IVs are as well. But yeah, these are new tooled as I understand it. And they look pretty nice. There's quite a few different versions. Same with the next coach. I say coach, Ms. Coach, the right term? I don't know. It is a Southern luggage van, and this one costs £40.99. And there's also a great variety of liveries as well. In fact, the Southern one that you can see here isn't one of the most interesting. There are some really, really lovely ones. Um, but I, I saw them but wasn't able to download them because the page sort of crashed and everything went wrong. But I've, So I've only got one picture of those, but there are more, trust me. Uh, when things have died down, you'll be able to go and check those out. Wagons then, let's talk about some of the wagons. Now look at that. Now if you're sort of born in the last 20 or 30 years or so, you might have absolutely no idea what you're seeing there. But those of you that are a little bit older will no doubt remember exactly what this is referring to. And here's mine. <laughs> As you can see, it looks kind of like it, kind of not. But that's definitely what they're going for. I don't know whether this is all new. The wagon that the box is sitting on looks like it's the same as what the Rustons were hauling last year. I don't know if that's true or not. It just looks that way. The top, though, I've not seen before. I'm not saying it's new tool or anything. Like I say, it's not clear from Hornby's website. But you can clearly see what they were going for. There we go. So it's the old trying wagon. Everybody had one of these back in the day. In fact, if you did own one and you want to prove me right, <laughs> let me know in the chat if you had one of these. But yeah, a lot of people uh, will have had these as children. So it's a very clever idea, of course, for Hornby to bring that back. And it looks super modern as well, doesn't it? It's clearly a bit more detailed than the one I've got. The paintwork looks a little bit better, the print work. It might even have NEM pockets. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't think the, um, the Ruston wagon had NEM pockets. So if it doesn't, then that might have answered my question on that, mightn't it? But you know, that's really cool. And there's quite a lot of other wagons as well. Uh, oh, there's some more Beatles ones. Do you want to see those? I've only got one picture of the Beatles ones. Um, that's one of these sort of wide wheelbase box vans. Uh, but I believe there's three or four of those. You've got the Help one. That's Help on the screen right now. There's also a yellow submarine one and also a Sergeant Pepper one. I'm sorry, I haven't got any more pictures. Uh, I believe those are going to be £17.99. Like I say, I did promise there was going to be more Coca-Cola wagons. Now these, <laughs> they look like the images have been squashed, don't they? But they're not. That is the, the shorter wheelbase tanker. It's just the, the previous Hornby Coca-Cola tanker was obviously the wider wheelbase version. But no, they've done some smaller Coca-Cola wagons, which I actually prefer. I think the smaller ones look much nicer. Again, that looks like it's been squashed, it, it, but it is the shorter wheelbase refrigerated box fan. Um, not the wider one, as was available last year. So that's really, really cool. We're going to be able to see some more uh, Coca-Cola trains, hopefully. And I do quite like it. I mean, it's a nice livery, isn't it? It looks really good. Everybody recognises it. Can't really go wrong with that. And there are all, all sorts of different uh, wagons coming out, some of them in liveries that we've not seen before. Obviously, I haven't got images for them all. Uh, they've got their usual sort of 2021 wagons, Father's Day and there's also this, a happy birthday wagon. Have they done this before? I don't think so. But that's a great idea. You know, if you've got someone that you know that likes model railways and you have no idea what they haven't got already, this works, doesn't it? Happy birthday uh, wagon. You could perhaps put a little slip of paper inside to say what birthday it was and when you got it. Yeah, that's a really, really nice idea for a gift, isn't it? I do like that. So there you go. That is a little bit on some of the wagons and rolling stock Hornby have brought out this year. There might well be more that I haven't been able to find, but I believe that is the majority of it. Let's talk now then about train packs and train sets because there's again some very interesting new developments in that area as well. So the first train set is this. Now I, I could be wrong but I think this is the first ever train set, at least the first one I've seen, that makes use of the brand new infamous HM6000 controller which of course will allow you to control model trains via DC via your iPhone or iPad or smartphone I should say. Looks really really cool does that. It's not 
unreasonably priced either, £129.99. That's not too bad given the fact that this has got quite a high-tech controller inside. And as you can see, the loco and rolling stock look very, very different to as we've seen them before. That bag, no, I've never seen, what's that? Did it say satellite? Something like that. And the wagons look very nice and colourful as well. Very impressed with that. That's very, very good. And then there's this. Now this, I think, is Hornby's successor to the Hornby Junior range, or looking at the video on Hornby's channel, this to me is everything that Hornby Junior should have been but wasn't. So let's talk about some of the features here. So I think this is going to be remote controlled, so you don't just have an annoying button on one of the coaches. I would show you mine, but I, I gave it away to some children because <laughs> I didn't want mine anymore. Yeah, there was an annoying button which makes things easy to derail and you can't sit back and control it. You have to sort of try and catch the train and press the button. Well, that is all gone now because there is a remote control and it looks as though there are some other controls on there, maybe lights, maybe sounds. I'm not too sure but remote control is absolutely wonderful that is that is just what Hornby Junior should have been the locomotives themselves are characters as you can see this guy has a face this is the bolt train pack by the way I think there might be some train sets as well but I've only got an image of the train pack anyway that is bolt he looks slightly terrifying I'm getting some sort of chug what is it called chuggington or underground Ernie vibes from that Hopefully this isn't going to terrify children, and it does also look, if you look down on the bottom right, it looks like his eyes light up, <laughs> like great headlights or something. Yeah, that I think that's going to scare me, actually, but I'm guessing the product won't look as terrifying as that drawing, so that's something. It's also got new track, which is supposed to be very easy to put together. I think that's very good. And also the coupling mechanism is quite intuitive as well. It's going to use magnets as opposed to annoying coupling hooks that you've got to, well, that children have got to try and couple together with their fingers. They might not have the dexterity for that, so just popping them together with magnets is really, really smart. I like that a lot. And there's quite a range, there's quite a few different characters. Like I say, this is the only image I've got right now, but I will talk about this in more detail in one of the news videos, uh, closer to the time, I suppose. Right, let's see, have I covered everything there? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I think that's everything. Like I say, this is just a train pack. Uh, this pack itself, how much was this pack? It wasn't very much, it's £29.99, and you get the train and the control for it. And uh, yeah, that is fantastic. And of course, because they're remote controlled, you could run multiple trains at once um, with two children or more children. You just have to buy an extra pack for each child. I imagine uh, this is all speculation. Well, it's a bit more than that. But yeah, you could actually put a, a huge setup together. You can buy extra pack, uh, track rather, pack, track. It sounds similar. Yeah, you can buy extra track and make a really big layout. So that would be really fun, actually, for a group of kids to play with. Yeah, the possibilities there are endless. Well done, Hornby. Well done. Let's forget about Hornby Junior, shall we? <laughs> right, let's see. Where am I next up then? Okay, okay. Let's have a look at the next train pack. Or is it a train set? Nobody knows. It's a train pack. Ah, yes. Now, this one's confused me as well. So this is a Terrier train pack with some of their new four-wheeled coaches in the Great Western livery. Let's see what have we got here. So, yeah, that's right. The RRP then. £299. That's confusing to me because the Terrier costs £99 on its own and the four-wheel coaches are £29.99 each. So if my arithmetic is correct, the price for that should then be £189.99. But the price I've got is £299. So is have I got the wrong price? Has the Loco got sound or DCC or is it coming in a really expensive, nice presentation case? I'm not too sure. There must be a reason for that. Either I've just put it down wrong. I'm pretty sure not, though. That's a strange one, isn't it? If you're buying in bulk, you should probably get it cheaper, not 100 and something pounds more expensive. But besides that, obviously, that is a really, really lovely looking pack. And those coaches do look fantastic. I'll have to get some and see what those are like. So that's interesting. And here we go. I've saved the best one till last. Are you ready for this one? This is quite something. It's Stevenson's Rocket in a new pack that we have not seen before. Here we go. <laughs> so look at this. What are, you, what are we actually seeing here? Well, first of all, if we go from Rocket, which we know about, the first coach coupled to Rocket there, that is a new coach. We've not had that one released before. I believe that one is called Treasurer. And that looks very, very nice. So if you're looking for extra coaches with different names, you've got that. The middle coach there, obviously, we're a bit more familiar with that. That's the open second-class carriage. Yeah, we've seen that before. And the one at the back there, sneakily, because I'm not sure if you can actually buy that on its own or not, but yeah, that has been sneakily added to this pack only, I believe, although, like I say, I could have missed it because Hornby's website is not working properly. But what you're seeing there is a, I think it's a, hang on, where are we? It's something to do with mail. Yeah, it's a Royal Mail coach with a guard on the top as well, so I think you actually do get a guard with this set as well. 
and the loco doesn't show any crew fitted to it but um, yeah they did come with crew didn't they so yeah that is really really nice another coach for stevenson's rocket so as i say that brings the total up to three it would be really really nice if that royal mail coach was available separately hopefully it will be and i haven't seen that yet but yeah as far as i know that isn't available separately but i could be wrong okay let's talk about accessories very quickly then in fact this is the only accessory i'll have to show um, it's the only one i was able to get off the website before it all went wrong but they call this their maglite system which is for the four and six wheel coaches and this is what I was referring to when I said they've gone for a completely different approach to lighting their four and six wheeled coaches. So they're not using pickups, they're not using pickups from the track. As you can see, these are powered via a button cell battery. And they say that this is because the pickups on the coaches uh, increase drag and reduce the number of coaches. Small locos, like pre-grouping locos tend to be, they reduce the number of coaches that they can handle. So, yeah, button cell powered. They also have a reed switch inside, which is, I think, what might be connected to the back of the battery there, or it could be on the circuit board on the right-hand side there. But basically, you'll have a magic wand, a little bit like the Rapido LNER um, speedometer coach. <laughs> I'll, I'll, try, I'll, I'll, I'll just avoid trying to pronounce that. So, yeah, you've got a little tool. It looks like a track rubber. Hornby showed it on their video. You wave it over the coach, and that will turn the lights on. And they say that that battery will last around 200 hours inside there. So, I mean, it's not really an issue is it um, how how long would it take to do 200 hours worth of running your trains quite a long time quite a long time in a way it's obviously cheaper than fitting pickups and lighting systems and integrating them um, whether it's easier to use though is another thing isn't it because normally if you've just got I don't know if you've got the power going through the tracks you start the train turn on your controller you'll get the lights or if you're lucky enough to have DCC you can just press a button on your DCC controller and all of the lights will come on um, yeah, this is not as easy. You've got to actually approach the coaches, turn all the lights on and turn them all off again when you're finished. It's not quite as convenient, is it? But it, it probably has allowed them to bring the price down. And you can buy the pack separately, the accessories. I believe some of the coaches will have this fitted, but you can buy this as an accessory. There it is, as the track rubber type thing on the left-hand side. It's not on a stick or anything, though, confusingly, so you really have got to get on top of the coaches. Um, if it was on a stick or something, that might make it easier to reach, I suppose. But yeah, this is going to be £12.99 for a single set, uh, which is what it is, isn't it? I mean, you could probably build your own version of this much, much, much more cheaply than that. I can buy five metres of LEDs for like £10 or something like that. And how much do button cells and reed switches cost? Not very much. However, it obviously is a convenience having Hornby put all of that together for you. And if you can buy the coaches with that system integrated already, then I suppose you might as well just do that, mightn't you? Right, well, that is just about it. Um, there might be more that I haven't mentioned, but I believe that is the bulk of it. So... What did you think about that? You can include the locos as well. What are you excited about? What are you planning to pre-order? Is there anything that you that was on your wish list that has been granted? Do let me know. Yeah, what do you think? I think that is a really strong range, isn't it? It did cross my mind, you know, after the 2020 announcements. Have they got very much left to talk about? Well, obviously, the answer is yes. There's an awful lot announced today. Hopefully, we'll see it all reasonably soon. Maybe some of it won't be coming until next year. That tends to be how it happens. That's certainly how it was with 2020. But yeah, hopefully the Rustons will be quick. I don't know. I've not actually had a chance to look at the release dates yet. I will do, though. Right, let's have a look. Rebecca Watson says she's going to get the Flying Scotsman. Ooh, that is nice. Yes, I'd be tempted by that as well be interesting to see how they compare with the old uh, Hornby A3s. No pacer, I am sad, says Oliver does anything. <laughs> oh dear. No pacer. I don't know if, I don't know if many people wanted pacers. I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not qualified to say whether or not that's the case. Uh, Blue Pullman HST says Southern Train Girl. That's a very good choice. Yeah, that looks wonderful, doesn't it? I can't wait to see a huge rake of those running. I won't be able to afford one for myself, but I'll be able to see one run, I suppose, on a video. Jaden Bishop says Get the Rocket. Yes, certainly do. If you if you want a rocket and you didn't want to pay the scalpers prices, get your pre-order in, because uh, you just know those scalpers are going to be out there, don't you? Definitely. Retooling Evening Star after I finally got one, says Little Wicket Railway. Oh, I'm sorry for laughing. Don't worry, though, I mean, because I've got, I've got three or four of them myself, so the biggest Wally is definitely me. I know how you feel, definitely. Oh, you've already ordered all of the P2s, says the Zelda Man 57. You're behind me, I've not ordered anything yet, but I, I need to. A Great Western Green Pacer would have been nice. You know, I haven't seen them release a Pacer for a long time. I wonder if they've still got the tools. I don't know. Yes, Stephen. Yes, darn scalpers. That's a pain, isn't it? Uh, some of those prices hurt me, says Menashe. 
Monash Makanda. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, some of them are a bit uh, ludicrous, aren't they? But like I say, we have seen worse. William Babcock as well, definitely going for the clan class. Thank you very much, William. That's very kind. Disappointed that there was no Caledonian Railway stuff. Yeah, that is true, isn't it? I suppose, yeah, a lot of it's been quite safe this year. There's nothing particularly out there or unusual or out of the box. I suppose the Ruston was, really. Uh, but, yeah, there's some nice locos. Let's just go through, shall we? Have a little bit of a recap. So you've got the new A3s that have been sort of semi-retooled, I suppose, or at least with the die-cast running plates. You've got the new Ruston, the 88DS. I keep wanting to say 48. Silly, silly me. The Clan class is coming back. Not new as far as I know, although I could be wrong. You've got the brand new P2. Now, that was a surprise. It's a strange on that very very strange but welcome welcome very welcome the 9f again that's a, an unexpected one but very very welcome yet again that should be very impressive hopefully they will pull out all of the stops and really make it so that the old railroad version is nothing like it you know this is a completely new experience for 9f owners hopefully and then you've got those railroad locos that e2 and the the new sort of percy loco that is such a good idea. I just assumed that they'd ruined the tooling when they made Thomas. Well, not ruined, but, you know, made it so they couldn't use it anymore. Although I suppose I've already proved that that isn't true because you can just pop a, a different face on or a smoke box in this case for Hornby and make a, a normal locomotive or indeed a Thomas locomotive out of a normal one. So, yeah, that is fantastic. Well, thank you so much for watching, folks. I'm glad you are all pleased with Hornby's new range, or at least for the most part. I'm going to go and start getting some of this ordered for myself, I reckon, because these things do tend to go out of stock pretty quick, don't they? Thank you so much for joining me. Videos will start again this time next week, or, well, next week on Wednesday. So I will see you very, very soon, hopefully. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you very, very soon. All right, folks, take care.